Hello YouTube and welcome to uh, another episode of To The Moon. This is a little weird, please ignore my wet hair, I just got out of the shower, but I just realized I didn't record an intro after I split these episodes up yet, uh, last week, so here's an intro. Now this is going to be a little weird, we, we, shove off, we start off right from where I left off in the last episode, there is no cut, I'm, it's, in, it's in the same session. Um, I just put this cut in manually for all the reasons I stated in the last episode, but this is the finale. It is still way too long, but um, it, it's good. My review at the end of this game is a little bit cut short because I was pressed for time. I had already been recording for way too long over my limit of recording, and I was worried my webcam would not be salvageable if I went any longer, but... What you guys need to know before you go into this is I love this game. I absolutely love this game. If I sound a little bit unenthusiastic or a little bit not too into my review at the end of this, that is because I sat down and I actually played five episodes of this in a row. So that's about two and a half, maybe three hours. I just played five episodes in a row because I wanted to see what was going on and I couldn't stop myself. So I was a little bit drained. I do apologize, but... This game was amazing, check out all the links, and um, let's get right back into uh, the finale. Whoa. River, what else? River, billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Now the whole construct's messed up. Oh, God. Ah, this is pretty spoopy. Whoa. Hey, little rabbit. It's finished, River. She won't be alone anymore. What is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. I just- I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people, Nick. Ah, uh, should I stop the episode? What am I doing? It helped you to understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? I would like to know why. Ow, fuck. Jesus. Hello, little rabbit. Okay. This is spooky. Eva, could you stop it, please? Oh, a ball. <gasps> Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? Oh, God. His corpse is speaking with Johnny's voice. Alright, I want to go. Look, it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm becoming emotionally distressed. Hi. Hello, Neil. Morpheus? What? It's Eva, you idiot. No shit, we're the only ones here. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? What did you do? What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere.
you know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already, where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser, there's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it, there's no time. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you- Shh. Ahem, hello. And she's not there. And she's not there. Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally, and all of refills are just steps away. Olives. Joey is there. His brother's alive. Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. But I'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. His memories with River are being taken away. Why do my words always lose their meaning? But I feel what I say. There's such a rift between us. He said I can't really seem to. He's not going to the carnival. I just stood there, never know what I should so he never met River again at that place, huh? When this world is no more, the moon is always seen. I'll ask you to fly away. But I don't mind if you're 
Is that his brother writing his book? Johnny got a phone call. Is he gonna go to the moon? I think this is the finale. I'm just gonna keep on going here. And there he is at NASA. <laughs> he actually made it, huh? You sound surprised. Whatever happened to we always succeed because we are awesome. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's at least check this place out. How could you be so happy when you erased his wife from his memories? His wife. How can you be so happy? At what cost did you have to fulfill this? Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. How pathetic. All this trouble for some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. All this trouble for just some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah. He really likes his backpack. To the moon. A story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by Joey Wiles. Can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. Anything to look at over here? Erm. Um, is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Oh, uh, let's go to the second floor then. Okay. Hey, Joey. Johnny. This is the Mission Control Center. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I half expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. Alright. We will just go then. What's not here? What else did you fuck up? Can't go in there? Alright, second, second floor I think we're on. So let's go to the third floor. So do you think last century's moon landing was... Let's not, Neil. Let's not. <laughs> Hello, boyo. What's going on? And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, uh, yes, the spinny thingy. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. I know, this episode is 40 minutes already, and I still haven't done a review of the game. Oh, God. I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. Well, kind of hard to figure that out now, eh? I'm getting another phone call. I'm fucking popular today. Alright, I'm gonna ignore that one, though. Hello. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Ugh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Or you need to work on your communication skills. Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. Oh, I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. Okay, so I think that place on the first floor um, needed four links. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there. I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. 
Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, uh, yes. A wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. <laughs> it's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. Hey, David. What's up? Nice to meet you. God. I can't believe River's just not there. All those memories are gone. At least he got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. Johnny's dying. And here's our other new recruit. River? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. Phew. I almost thought she wasn't- What the fuck, Eva? But you deleted her. No, I told you I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world, it's based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How are you sure it'd work? That wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. We still have two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny'd appreciate some company. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. I like that name. Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day.
Oh, there we are. I want to be an astronaut too, Dad. One day, son, you just might. Meh. Maybe, who knows. Oh, is that the shuttle? Hello. Did you think that they would make it? Ha. Huh. Did you? No. The way she is, I didn't think she, was, she would succeed. But I guess I was wrong. All the better then, isn't it? Yes, I'm happy for them. Joey, you know that's my brother my brother in that shuttle. Wow. Yep, I once wrote a book about this too. With a less optimistic ending. I might have to change that after all. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah. He was the one who requested it. Did you find out why you wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And what all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. You know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now, your colleague's waiting. <sighs> he said they would regroup at the moon if they ever got lost. Thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off traffic, eh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? Yeah. Come up here. Why? Why not? You're gonna push me off the ledge. Okay, probably. But the view is worth the odds. Come on. There they go. Everybody's getting ready. To launch the shuttle. Oh god. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. There they go! To space! <laughs> There's Anya. Johnny and Joey. Joey's there and all these memories still. Is this after they came back from the moon?
Crap. Okay, this is like the closest I've come to tears on a video, and I'm not about to cry. <sighs> Shit, this video is an hour long. Oh my god. There, that's when gave the the platypus. Wow. Okay. Okay, wow. Oh my god, wow. Okay. This is the finale. I'm actually gonna break this video up into two parts because I cannot render out an hour and some change long video and then upload it. It would take way too much time. I'm gonna break it up. I'm sorry if the break is weird, but it, it'll be worth it, I promise. So, that was to the moon. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna do my review quick. All right. So, To the Moon, RPG maker, storytelling, uh, exploration kind of game. The story. The story is so good. This is one of the best stories I've seen in a game like this. This is crazy. Absolutely blew my mind. So you start out as uh, these scientists who are helping a dying man grant his wish of going to the moon. Only he doesn't know why he wants to go to the moon. So you journey through his memories trying to figure out why he wants to go to the moon and change his memories so that he does go to the moon. Uh, along the way, you learn about his wife and you learn about um, how they met in their story and everything like that. And there's still more to the game. And what do you have to say? That we were done. Sarah, okay, here he is. Oh, this is after Johnny passed. Thanks, off you go now. He's buried right next to River. I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. Heh, <sighs> who wants- who else was there to give it to? Us? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. Still a little too soon. Nah, it's never soon enough. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Eva here. We're on our way. New patient? New patient. Let's roll. What was that? What, what, what was that? What did he hold? Episode 1, To the Moon. Episode 1? Okay. So! Did I just close the game? Shit, I did. So, as I was saying, you journey back in uh, this guy's memories, learning about his wife, learning how they met, learning all these things, seeing all these memories, and then you realize that he has some kind of memory that has been blocked. He has a memory that they can't access, so they have to kind of uh, break through it, and you figure out that when he was a child, Johnny, he had a twin brother who died because his mom ran him over on accident while she was going to the store. And you learn that before that event happened, there was a carnival where, uh... Where fucking uh, Johnny, Johnny met River when he was younger. He met her and he gave her the platypus that she still had when they were married and together. He gave her that platypus and said that they would meet again at the next carnival in, in the past. And, and she said, what if they get lost? And he said, we'll meet at, we'll regroup at the moon. And then you realize that since Johnny... This is what I'm saying. John, what I'm thinking happened. Since Johnny repressed the memory of his brother dying, they did meet back up. They met back up when they were in high school because he didn't remember meeting River. I, I assume he repressed everything there that was from the death and then beforehand. So he didn't remember meeting River. So they didn't ever have to meet up. He didn't remember that he made that promise to regroup at the moon. He, he didn't, he didn't remember it, and, 
And therefore he didn't want to do that. And that was his wish. His wish was to go to the moon and he didn't know why. And that was why. It was because he promised River that if they ever lost each other, they ever got lost, they would meet up at the moon. And the scientists changed it so that they ended up becoming astronauts, both of them did. And they met each other at the moon and lived happily ever after with Joey being alive. Now the kicker is none of that happened. The kicker is this is all fake. It's all generated memories. The reality is that none of it happened and now we know that Johnny has been carrying this this medical condition of not having those memories of his brother for the longest time and having this weird kind of relationship going on with River that was so confusing and twisted and they didn't really connect right and he didn't want to know about her illness and he didn't want to do this and that and she didn't want to do this and she ends up dying and those aren't the memories he had when he died he had the fake ones and you have to ask yourself is that better is it better that way Overall, that was fantastic. It was a fantastic story. I'm not doing it justice by explaining it. It's hard to explain. You have to experience it. Seriously, this game is an experience. So I'm going to run through everything else real quick. Controls, I didn't really like them at all. I didn't like controlling with the mouse. Um, it was really unreliable. It was hard to find the things you're supposed to click on. And sometimes it just straight up wouldn't let you move and do stuff. And you had to do it with the keyboard. So... I really like the controls, but it's a very small thing to overlook because this isn't like a mechanics-based game. It's a uh, environment and exploration story-based game, so it's not that big of a deal. Audio, fantastic. I love every piece of audio in this game, especially the music box song, which I guess is a full song with lyrics and all. Hopefully I'm able to keep that in um, and YouTube doesn't take me down for it, but I loved all the music in this game. It was seriously beautiful. The graphics, they're pixel style, so they are a little bit... You have to kind of be into that style of graphics, but for a pixel RPG Maker game, this was very well done. It had so much detail to it. It had so much life in it and just pixels. It was, it was amazing how much it could show with just a few pixels on the screen. It was very, very impressive. Um, overall, I am seriously impressed with this game. I have played a handful of RPG Maker games in the past. Granted, they're all horror games, so they don't really have too much story, but this blew my socks off. I almost cried at the ending. I almost cried on camera. No way, Jose. That was beautiful. I seriously, seriously think that was beautiful, and I am beyond happy that I played it. So, this game gets a big ol' thumbs up from me. Go buy it and play it right now. Please check out all the links in the description, guys, to Freebird Games and to where you can buy To The Moon because this is seriously something you need to experience. I don't care if I'm not the first person you watch play it. I don't care if I'm the millionth person you've watched play it. You have to play it yourself to really feel what's happening. Beautiful. I- beautiful. Beautiful. So. That- that's it. I- this is the finale. The- this ep this video is one hour long. It's an hour and some change long and I am not gonna upload it like that. I'm gonna cut it. So there is a weird cut in the middle, dividing these into half an hour episodes. I'm sorry about that, but I, I, that's how I wanna do it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching this series. I seriously appreciate it guys. This was a fantastic game to play through. I hope I can find more RPG Maker games um, to play because this was fantastic. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out all the links in the description below. If there's anything wrong with the video, please let me know down below. I will check the comments and everything like that. But, oh, okay, we're done with this series. Next Monday, we will come back with something brand spanking new. But thank you guys for joining me on this journey of To The Moon. Thank you. Oh, that was something else, but my computer can't handle recording anymore, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is the finale. Please check out the developers and give some love. Uh, and we'll be back next week. That's all I have to say. So, have a fantastic day and run out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. Please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video.